Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, August 6th, 2019. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Yes? Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a message coming through dated for the 6th of August, it doesn't mean it has to resonate on the 6th of August, okay? Um, at any moment in your life, <laughs> when you come across this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time. Yes? Alrighty, kids. So I don't really have much of a pre-shuffle energy. I'm going to be honest. I was, I was starting, you know, I was pulling, I was shuffling a little bit. Page of Wands came out, Three of Wands came out, and the Empress came out. Empress was upright, Page of Wands, and the Three of Wands were reversed. And basically what I was hearing, what I was getting was there's no message. Um, and I almost didn't even do, like I almost didn't even start recording because I was sitting there, I was looking at the cards, and I was like, why is nothing coming through? And they were like, there really just is no message right now. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, so, but I still feel, I still want to do the video. The video. I still want to do the reading. I, I guess there was just no pre-shuffle energy coming through. There was nothing really to say. They, I just, I really, I was sitting here looking at the cards and I was just like, I, I just want to start the video and see what comes out then. So we'll see you guys. I'm not, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's just like there, it was just silent. You know what I mean? There was nothing coming through. But anyway, let's let's see. Um, I was as I was channeling the energies before, though. You know, just for the day before I started shuffling the cards, I was seeing green, um, which is the heart chakra, which is healing energy um, associated with Archangel Michael, uh, not Michael. Excuse me, Raphael. Um, heart healing energy. Some of you maybe just be going through today might be, uh, you might want to take it easy today. That's just kind of what I feel. Like it's, it's just like a, ah, just a chill day, you know? I mean, obviously if you're, you know, you got to go to work and all that, you can't do that. But, um, you know, you might want to take it easy. Like when you get home, if you have like a bunch of plans or you're going to do a bunch of stuff, I wouldn't necessarily do that. You know, just rest, relax, take it easy on yourself, take a break. Um, this could be a day in which some of you really have some, you know, uh, really good or strong heart healing energies. Uh, emotions might come up, I'm hearing. Yeah, emotions might be on the rise today because of due to what some sort of emotional purging that may happen. Okay. Interesting. All right, guys. So let's just get to it and see what comes out for us today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, August 6th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving us three shuffles and we'll see what we have for today. For Tuesday, August 6th, best message, please, Spirit, for the collective. Also, I don't say this anymore, but I used to say it all the time, but, um, this is not specific to anything. Love, sign, career. Oh, I also want to say gender. It's not, this is not specific to anything. This is just a big old general reading, whatever spirit wants to talk about, all right? Whatever our higher selves, I guess I should say, want to discuss with us, yes? All righty, kids. Let's see what we've got. Tuesday, August 6th. Okay, 
we're gonna give that one more go. Okay, all right. Well, the Eight of Swords came out in reverse, which is good. There, 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 there we go. Oh boy. All right. Overall energy, we're starting, wow. We're starting with the King of Cups with his back turn, but the King of Cups is upright. On the other side, we've got the King of Swords and it's reversed, but the King of Swords is facing us. The King of Cups is not. Somebody is all up in their feelings. All up in their feelings. Wow, all right, death in reverse with the Eight of Swords in reverse, okay. All right. You have to bear with me, guys, because um, the channelings aren't just, are just not coming through as quickly as, <laughs> as they normally do. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna slowly work my way through this. Um, I can imagine that we're either speaking to, I'm channeling for a masculine energy, whether you're male or female, or um, this is someone that you're connected with or connecting with. Oh, no, okay, no, we're talking to the masculines here for now. Um, uh, the first thing I wanna say is be careful because there is a pretty volatile energy here that's going on right now i don't i think there must be i just heard upheaval there must be a pretty big up, upheaval going on in your life right now you could be the one that is um making those changes uh influencing those changes i don't see the tower here i don't feel the tower here so yeah this feels like you're in the middle you're deep in the middle of this there's a there's i mean there's a big change happening you have death with the eight of swords in reverse both of them are in reverse there's uh, i'm sorry and with that is the four of swords all right so either you are making a big change like the change has already happened and you're like this guy that's just sitting here kind of meditating, maybe praying um, as, you know, the village is on fire, right? So this could be post-tower moment in which, you know, the tower was struck by the lightning and now everything's burning to the ground because everything that, everything that is coming down or being destroyed now was not good, it was not beneficial, does not need to be there any longer, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, okay? Or... I, if this if this isn't you dealing with, you know, a tower moment that happened in the past, I, I feel like you're contemplating some sort of escape, some sort some sort of jailbreak, <laughs> in a sense. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but I want to say, be careful. Be careful because with. Someone being in their emotions here, King of Cups, and his back is turned, yes? And then we have the King of Swords here. He's, he's, he, he's facing us, but he's reversed. This is scary. Like, this is the antithesis or the exact opposite of diplomacy, all right? The only other individual that would be scarier than the King of Swords reversed is the Queen of Swords reversed. But we're talking the masculines here, all right? Masculine energy, this is a lack of deployment. I just feel like someone, and, and, and I guess the saving grace here is that the King of Cups is upright, all right? So, but something about this, him being, his back being turned like this, especially with the King of Swords on the other side, something tells me that this is really someone that's very much up in their emotions. It is not trying to hurt anybody, but could. And I don't necessarily mean physically. I mean like verbally, with words, attitude, um, <clears throat> all that kind of stuff. There's definitely an energy of someone having changed their perspective 
okay? Or in the process of changing their perspective with the hanged man, which is in reverse. And it's this side of the card in which um, you have the two individuals from the Hierophant who were in their process of indoctrination, blah, 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 and they, they're, they've continued on into their journey and then they came up upon the hanged man in which now they're in a place where they're like, wait a second, there's more? There's more than what, than the dogma? There's more than the, what the scripture says? There's more than what society says? There's more than, you know, these social norms? And yeah, there is more. Hang with me for a little bit and maybe you'll get to understand. Okay. But this is reversed. And this is not a bad thing. This to me is someone has passed this phase, just passed this phase. Um, also, There, mm, that's interesting. There's a little bit of a lack of faith here also with the hermit, well, not the hermit, the hanged man. And this is also the star in the center. And that's the knight of swords. Um, there's a little bit, there's a little lack of faith here. Just a little bit. And it's, and, it, and yes, this feels, whatever point of view you've come to recently, um, it's brand new to you. It really is brand new to you. So you're, you're having to um, move forward in faith because it's, I guess this, this is hard to put into words, but you're having to move forward in faith because the, the, what you believe or the, the new things that you've learned, the new perspective that you've gained is so fresh that you haven't necessarily seen it fully at work yet. Like it's gonna take time and different experiences for you to really start to see your belief system put into action. It doesn't mean that it's not working. It doesn't mean that it's not going to work. It's just, it's, re it's very new for you. So you just, you need to have a little bit of faith here. All right, and there needs to be a little bit of a guarded energy. This Knight of Swords I'm feeling is not so much an aggressor. It's more of a defense mechanism. Okay, but also you do have this King of Swords here. All right, so this could be a defense mechanism also. Just be careful. I just feel like someone's at a point where they're not really trying to play games. Like, it, it might be the King of Swords, but he's in a, he's in a I want to say an emotionally volatile state, which is weird because the the swords, the king and the queen of swords are not really about emotions, but then you have this king of cups here, all right? And I am feeling like this is one person. It could be multiple people, it could be. But I feel like for the majority of what I'm channeling right now, this feels like one person. And you step to this king of swords the wrong way and diplomacy is gonna fly out the window, all right? Either this is you or this is someone that you're connected to. Okay, now, here's the other thing. You have the emperor with the five of wands. And again, the emperor's back is turned. We have all of these masculine figures, king of cups, the emperor, king, the, the knight of swords, and their backs are turned. The only individual whose back isn't turned other than death, because look, here's death here. Death is facing us, but it's reversed, okay? Um, the only individual whose back is not turned is this King of Swords. I just, I, I really wanna make you guys very, very aware. I wanna make you that very, very clear. The only individual whose back is not turned is the King of Swords, and he feels scary. Like he feels like he's about to cut a bitch. That steps to him the wrong way, all right? So then you have here the emperor with the five of wands. And of course, it's the side of the, the card where the volcano is erupting. Someone is or has taken their power back in a serious way. And they are not fucking around, <laughs> all right? They are not fucking around. 
So this really, if, if this is you, you really could be just sitting back and just letting the village burn down. Because it's what's best for you, it's what's best for everybody at this moment. It just needs to be burned down. This is liberating, you guys. Even though it does kind of feel, it's a little scary. Um, it does feel a little, I don't know, um, rough. Ultimately, it's a good thing. I mean, in the long run, it's a good thing. I literally just heard it totally is after I just said that. It sure is. Also, the, um, the King of Swords, whatever is going on for some of you, the King of Swords in reverse is saying that this is not up for discussion. Whereas at one point I would have been a willing to have a healthy, heated debate over it, over this. We could have gone through all of the, the evidence and, and the facts and the reasons why and the reasons, the reasons why to do this, the reasons why not to do this, blah, blah, whatnot, whatever. Not this time, or at least not now, no. The, the floor is closed. No more discussion. No more chit chat. And there is, there is an element of being emotionally mature, but yet closed off with this King of Cups. It's like someone is finally taking, oof, someone has finally taken their heart back <clears throat> in a sense. Instead of being so emotionally available to whatever is changing here, whatever is burning down, whatever, you know, whatever was struck by the tower, if there was a tower moment for you, now that emotion that someone once held for the situation is no more. They're, they're pulling that back <clears throat> and not allowing themselves to be emotionally um available in this situation any longer. Oof. All right, we're gonna clarify. We are going to clarify. And all I want to do really is just free pull and like just Get one more shuffle here, and I don't want to. I don't want to um, pinpoint anything specifically. I'm just gonna let it go and see what we get as a clarification. All right, here we go. Just some clarification, please, Spirit. Seven of Swords. The Devil. Okay, ooh, wow, interesting. All right, well, the, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse here. It's at the, on, on the bottom of the deck, um, and it just happens to be a card that is reversed, but it's happened for a reason, so I'm gonna leave it there. None of the other cards are reversed. I do wanna sit, point out that um, underneath the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Ace of Wands, but then also the Queen of Cups is down there too. All right, there's... Um, Wow. For some of you specifically, I would kind of want to say the sexual passion that you may have felt for someone for a connection um, maybe is no more. Maybe, maybe your orientation is changing. <laughs> maybe you're starting to realize that you're not as attracted to women as you might have thought at one point. Okay. Um, That was weird. That was just, <laughs> that's a specific message for somebody out there. I don't know. Who, but hey, I mean, if if you're finding greater pleasure out of your out of what you know normally, then shit, more power to you, buddy. Like, go on with your bad self. <laughs> um, 
Okay, but with the Wheel of Forge, okay, so so what I'm getting here for this, this feels very much like what we've been talking about for masculine energies for quite a while in terms of being in situations where, you know, they're they're not putting their needs as a priority. They're putting everybody's needs, wants, and expectations above their own because of a sense of duty um, and all that kind of stuff. But that it, this literally feels like it's changing. This is It feels like this is exactly what we're talking about. There are some masculine energies, whether you're male or female, it does not matter, but there are some masculinely oriented individuals that are really changing everything around them. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here is giving me an energy of that being on I, I, this, I, I, I think this was the message was the, I was channeling this, I want to say like back in November or something like that. But getting off the karmic ham, hamster wheel, it might have been, it might have somewhere between like November and February, I want to say. I don't know, whatever. Um, it's crazy that I've been doing morning coffee for that long every day. Hasn't even been a year yet, though. I'm sorry, I digress. <laughs> but it feels like getting off the karmic hamster wheel. And especially with the Ace of Wands that's underneath this Wheel of Fortune here, there's a new inspiration towards moving in a new direction. And maybe that Queen of Cups is someone that you are moving towards um, that is more of a counterpart to this King of Cups. Okay. All right. What else do we have here? The first, the first thing that fell out was the Seven of Swords um, on top of the Emperor with the Five of Wands. And to me, that's speaking to <clears throat> detachment, remaining detached. You also have that with the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is giving me an energy of standing your ground. Um, and this also could be you saving your money. Uh, you might need to be moving, whatnot, whatever, um, in some way. It, this just, for me, what this is feeling like right now, the Two of Pentacles, but the Four of Pentacles, Pentacles specifically is saying that um, I'm hearing you need to hold your own, you need to be in your defensive position, you know, guarding yourself, just keeping your feet on the ground, not allowing, yeah, not allowing the emotions or the eruption of whatever this represents here with this five of wands energy to knock you off base, to knock you off center, to get you out of the headspace that you're in that is even allowing you to move forward in this way or change, make these changes in this way, okay? On death with the eight of swords and the four of swords, we do have the devil that came out. And this is another part, this is another thing that's saying to me, this is really, this is very similar, this feels very similar to what we've been channeling for the masculines for a long time about honoring yourselves first over honoring what society says, the patriarchy, you know, that Hierophant energy that didn't come out. But, oh, well, we were talking about it with, yes, we were talking about it with the hanged man. Because these two individuals are the people that you see in the Hierophant, the two gentlemen kneeling before the Hierophant in their indoctrination phase, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Five, oh shit, five of cups. There's that king of swords again, the lovers and the nine of pentacles. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. So it really looks like masculines, looks like some, whomever I'm channeling for here, you're really, you've made a big choice, a huge choice, all right? And you know, yes, there are emotional factors here. I'm not gonna say that you're complete, oops. I'm not gonna say that you're completely stone cold, yes, with this King of Swords energy and you're not feeling anything. The thing about it is though, you know very well, you know for a fact that Whatever you're feeling right now, the loss, the pain, the regret, the shame, even if someone is laying into you, trying to tell you, 
you're this, that, and the third, you MF, you this, you that, you deadbeat, blah, blah, what, that, what, blah, blah, blah. You know that that is only temporary. And that you have these two cups still standing here. But the choice that you've made has come from the heart and has come from an individuality, a sense of individuality. The lovers with the nine of pentacles. The lovers is about a choice. Okay, yes, it's about a divine partnership, a, a deep, strong, you know, soulmate relationship. You could even say, many people say that that is the twin flame card, the like the official twin flame card, the lovers, right? Okay, so for some of you, maybe this does have to do with twin flames. I don't know, I don't really care. What I'm saying is, <laughs> the lovers is also about a choice, all right? And I often, well, I, I, I say in terms of choices when it comes to this card, this is a choice of vice over virtue. Vice being Adam or the man standing in front of the burning brush. Virtue being Eve or the woman standing in front of the tree of life. Now, vice and virtue translates in the external world or into you personally as vice being what everyone else wants for you or what everyone else says you, says you should do versus uh, virtue, which is the desires of your own heart. And it looks like someone, first of all, someone's, someone's straight up becoming uh, independent or single. But it looks like this choice was made from a place of diplomacy, not gonna lie with this King of Swords here, but also from a place of choosing from your heart. Okay, and that really is a good thing. It really, really is a good thing. And I do like the fact that the King of Swords came back out just to say, hey, diplomacy is not completely out the window, but yo, don't step to me the wrong way because you'll get the wrong end of the sword that you don't really want. Mm-hmm. All right, now I see you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get your closing message here. Your oracle guidance. Boop a doop boop boop. And now for some of you, I am feeling like if you haven't, haven't made this choice, uh, I feel like this is something that you're moving towards. You're feeling kind of apprehensive. Like uh, there, there, there's a number, of, a number of you out there that I'm feeling are just like, you're watching this video, you're listening to what I'm saying and you're like, damn, that's the energy that I'm in right now. I, I really feel like I should do this. If you're feeling like you need to make a major choice or a major change in your life, go on and just do it. I, I, I just heard and I wanna say, stop procrastinating. You're only wasting your own time, really. I mean, it's really, it's not that big of a deal, but like also, if you wanna make a change, make a change. You have the right to do so. Shit, it's your life. <laughs> Closing message, please, spirit. Oracle guidance for today's reading. There it is. My, my, my. Will you look at what we have here? Card number 11, Archangel Gabriel and Turquoise, safe to be seen. Mm, mm, mm. Can't make this stuff up, guys. <clears throat> we bring you the gift of safety in being seen. Over lifetimes, you have loved the earth, returning again and again to serve humanity. Liberate the human soul from fear and spread a message of love. You have spoken truths, shared messages, and inspired many. Yet in your visibility, sometimes you have felt misunderstood and vulnerable. You have been admired and loved, but at times also feared and, and attacked for the empowering message you brought to the world. In you, there is a memory of this, and although you wish to share your light with the world again, there are times when the thought of being seen doesn't feel safe. We are here to let you know that you are protected in divine grace. It is safe to open up to your inner knowledge and to share your message with the world. The light in you is stronger than fear. It is time to shine fearless and bright. I'm going to read this part. 
out. <clears throat> this oracle comes to you with a message. It is safe for you to be seen. In this lifetime, you are meant to be a spiritual leader of sorts, to bring through the light, peace, love, and guidance that others around you need. Don't be afraid of their reactions. Some will love you for what you do. Others might not understand or may resist or even attack in fear, but in truth, you cannot be harmed. You shall always be what you are and no one can ever take that away from you. It is, not, it is simply not possible. No matter how many times you have been blocked, denied, dismissed, or abused, you find your way back to the truth of your heart again and again. So your soul has learned over time that your spirit is indestructible. It has learned that the truth of love is always there for you. Love will always welcome you into its arms and you can feel at home within your heart even if you don't always feel at home in the fear-based belief systems that so many still consider to be reality. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.